Name one person that hasn't been enjoying the new Five Sauce music. I mean, I know that I have. I've actually been a fan of theirs. I've said this for a while, and every, I feel like I say this in every video. But the truth is, I honestly feel like I've really been a fan of their stuff since the early Five Sauce days, probably the 2014, 2015 era. Um, I really just, just genuinely enjoy their music. It's it's kind of always been the genre of music that I like, kind of genre of music oh, uh, that I've wanted to produce, that I'm slowly starting to get into that kind of genre, where like a, me, my music was more acoustic for a while, and now... Um, it's starting to get a little bit more. If you heard any of my, my concert, it, it's a little more edgy, which I've always appreciated about there. It's dirty rock guitars, hard slam and drums. So I'm really looking forward to this. Actually, Older featuring Sarah D. And if you haven't seen my reaction with Blake McLean, that is currently over on his channel. I was down in Florida with him. We filmed the video together and then we filmed the actual audio version of reaction to this. So if you go check out my reaction with uh, Blake McLean, this is five, se five Seconds of Summer, Older. I don't wanna get older out your head on my Video quality is insane On the day that you leave me I'll forever be bleeding love As forever comes closer Hope the world has been slower I don't wanna get older I don't wanna get older Okay, I gotta say, I always appreciate when the video, even though we're not hearing anything from the video so far, we're just hearing the music. As a creative, I always appreciate when there's what you would call hits or cadences on the beats of the music. So for example, you see this girl sitting on the beach and then the meteor hits as we go to the, 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 the next section, probably the verse, I guess we'd call it, the section of the verse where that seventh chord comes in and the drums come in, you hear that percussive intro and then boom is when that hits. Stare at the Such an intimate feel to the song. Takes me back the promises while of your breath in your cocaine colored wedding dress. Lost in the day to day. You kiss away the pain. Oh, every time you twist my lips. Wow, that's a sick shot. Wow. One of the things, this is actually really interesting because it's kind of playing into a theme that I've always thought about is like, there are so many people in this world that it, it blows my mind. Like when one thing happens in this world, what is everybody doing? Like right now, here I am filming this video. It's a Tuesday at 1.50 p.m. <laughs> Well, what are you doing at Tuesday at 1.50 p.m.? Like, there's people in school. There's people driving. There's people at a funeral. There's people giving birth. Like, there's so like so many things happening all at once. I've always thought about that. I'm a thinker, if you haven't noticed, on this channel, I think. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> um, but that's always been an interesting thought of mine. And this is kind of playing in. And it's kind of, to some degree, interesting to see, like, how one thing happens and it's affecting everybody potentially with this meteor crash explosion but everybody's taking it in different ways some people are watching it some people are in awe some people are completely oblivious some people don't care um it's very interesting nice upright face Catch that the end on the drum kit. Very interesting. Very interesting like metaphor is going on throughout the, the track. Like again, like I'm telling you, people caring, people not caring, people interested, people not interested. Wow, there are so many different shots and a lot of work in Shakespearean, it all comes flying back again. My 
very interesting transition right there with the the on the drum beat right there with the the world starting to fall apart. One thing I want to talk about is the vocals. Blake and I talked about this in the auto version. Very interesting Luke's vocal compared to Sarah's vocal. Very interesting in the sense of like Luke's is intentionally more processed. Like it, you can hear in the two vocals that Luke's has more um, essentially auto tune pitch correction, which we all know is a great vocalist. So as a stylistic choice, they put that on. Where Sarah's is a bit more raw, and it's a really interesting contrast between this more processed style vocal and his raw vocal going pretty much at the same time throughout the whole song. So it's a very, very interesting contrast of, of tonality. And, which is to some degree how this kind of music video is all kind of configured in the sense of like, there's a lot of contrast within the music video itself. How did they shoot this with the wind and stuff? Obviously a lot of it's CGI. But... I like that even though it's in 4-4, you still feel the swaying aspect of it, which is really cool. I would love to know what you feel this music video means in the sense that there's a lot going on, there's a lot of contrast, but how does it relate, in your opinion, to the song? I'd love to see. You guys always have the best comments and the best interpretations, so I'd love to hear your interpretations. High quality music video, really top notch. You can see that they're, they they definitely didn't spare budget, man. They definitely, this was top notch budget, obviously top notch song. Really enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you haven't checked out the rest of the stuff on this channel already, consider doing so. Consider subscribing and consider checking out my music. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. God bless and peace out.